Chai Oil hold uh, thanks to many people for seven exhibitions. I was counting the number of artists that we hold for seven years, and I'm counting more than 300 artists that were uh, having an exhibition, 47 uh, group, and seven uh, uh, solo exhibitions, ending with this amazing person that I have right here with me. Uh, many people know he's a legend. For seven years, I listened to his name, and they mention it, and they keep saying, can we have you know that person? He's from Perth and Boy. Um, he doesn't know that he's a legend, and that is what we are trying to represent. And here, I'm just going to pass the microphone to Kenneth. Welcome, and thank you so much. What should I say? I just want to thank everybody here, everyone, and that I'm just a, a part of all of you because you're what you created me, and and I'm really so grateful. It's just it's just so perfect and it's wonderful. And I just want to thank everybody on a journey around the world, working with some of the most important people on the planet Earth. And Perth Amboy gave me the start. And Olga really said, "Listen, let's have a show." And I said, "Oh, I can't do it. It Dra drains me." But she put together a wonder, wonderful show uh, here. Uh, and, it, and this is from collections from childhood, when, when, when I started. And, and I, I really am just, it's just so perfect. And I want to thank everyone that, that contributed to this. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> if there's any questions, does anyone have a question? I'd like a lecture class. <laughs> I do. Yes. Of all, of all you've painted, uh, who is the most exciting character in your opinion? I think, you know, that's a good question. I think so many. I've done, I've painted and worked with so many great people. I've been so fortunate. One is, one I really, is Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly, um, Gene Kelly, and there's a fellow that lived in Perth Amboy by the name of uh, Samuel Goldfish. Mr. Harry. Did yes. you attend the Perth Amboy Public Schools? Uh, no, no, I didn't. I, one year, I did one year. Okay. But it was my brother, Ron Harry, that pulled. I was always in Hollywood, California during my summers. People, my friends would go to camp or they'd go somewhere, and I'd be in Hollywood with my brother, spending three months in Hollywood on Beachwood Drive. So, and I was fortunate to go around without adult supervision. My mom and dad didn't know that, but my brother <laughs> let me on the loose. But we were really, he was a good brother because he always made sure I got to my art classes in Laguna Beach with Leanne Frank, so we just had a great relationship. The exhibition to start in the little room, and we started it with that little painting. How old were you when you the, the, the first painting I did I was a portrait commission by Chris Scott, and I was 10 years old. Scott, and he was four, he was 14. And I would tell him, Chris, would you sing like Johnny Mathis for me? And he would sing like Johnny Mathis while I was painting it. So I always have Johnny Mathis on mine, which I'm going to paint, uh, because Johnny's still, still performing. But um, that was my first portrait commission, and I got paid $50. I said, this is a great career. You know? <laughs> wow, I made money by painting his and that painting is here, and, and it's, it's in the private collection, but I was able to get that. But I was traveling so much because my paintings would be sold. My cousin, who passed away, is posed with a portrait of uh, uh, the Pirate of the Keys. And he photographed me while we were working, so we documented everything. It was all, it was so great, because we'd be on the road, motels, hotels, anywhere we could stay. It didn't matter, but we traveled so many places. And right now, I'm reviewing a lot of the photographs of the, the travels. And finally, the person that we were expecting, the Yorvita Diaz, she's celebrating his work. Amazing work. Good evening, Mr. Harry. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. I've become a very great fan of yours. Oh, thank you. Um, and so is everyone else that's here. Uh, we're here tonight celebrating um, your accomplishments, um, your love for art, um, and we're here to say to you thank you for being our native son. Thank you. That this is always your home in Perth Amboy, and that we're very proud to say that we have someone in Perth Amboy that is world renowned, mm -hmm. that's proud, that makes us proud as children of Perth Amboy, 
that we can come out and celebrate with you um, all your accomplishments. And I say to you, thank you very much. And to have your artwork displayed here in our great city, um, for you to come back home okay. and to allow us to display it here in our art gallery says a lot about you and how much you care enough about the city to come back and share with us um, this beautiful artwork. So I, I thank you, and I also have a citation for you from me. But Perth the Envoy, as you can see, um, loves you. Thank you. It's not subpoena, right? No, it's not subpoena. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a good citation. <laughs> but by the crowds here, you can see how proud everyone is I know, of you. I it's wonderful. And that we are very grateful again to you. Um, there's a mayor here that just love art. I'm an art lover. And people know that um, when you come into our city hall, you're going to come to my office and see a beautiful mural that was painted in my in my office. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make sure that then after me, no other mayor can paint over those murals <laughs> because we're going to leave art for our future generations. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.